Running into coma, watching them lying on cot for months is common. But have you ever wondered what goes on in the victim's mind? I kept scratching my skull while the watchman prompted. I know what goes on. I was astonished that how one knows such things. Me and the watchman were sitting in the registration deck with a lamp swinging upon the table. And us totally in the conversation to know what goes on in the mind of a person in coma. The watchman says that he has been in coma for three months. I do not know how, but we have grown quite a deep friendship in this short week. Enough deep that we are sharing such words at the midnight. He with a deep horrifying voice says, It was just a night like today when I and two of my friends came here for a job. Well, I did the same too. I prompted, do not interrupt, he frowned. But on the first night, I cannot remember what, but we saw something in the second wing which drove us into coma. Now comes the interesting part. He says that he has seen his past while he was in coma. According to him, he saw people with bloody fangs from where blood dripped. He said that he could even taste and smell blood while being in coma. Funny isn't it? He went on speaking rubbish but the lightning and stormy wind indeed added a creepier sense. Our conversation had come to an end and then I headed for my quarter. Yes quarter because an orphan would not have enough money to have his own place to stand on. So. While going to my quarter, I saw a shadow in the watchman's quarter. Of course, being a friend, it is my responsibility to check who was it. Lightning strikes enlightened the darkness at an irregular interval and I only had my laptop back to attack the intruder. His quarter was in the second wing and just opposite to mine. But as I went closer, I sensed a very bad smell. I sensed something wrong but my body was not within me. My heart craved to leave but my body pulled me in. It was a total mess. It even had spider habitats. How old could it be? I asked myself. I mean, why does he not clean this place? Things turned worse when I noticed the gas stove on. I approached it to find a bowl of blood being boiled. I also sensed dead bodies behind me. So I turned back and found three of them. I stumbled till I could reach the door. Then with no second thoughts I ran blindly to seek a help in a shack. I asked the owner about that place and his answer was way more creepy than what I saw. He said, it is me who made you see all that. Here take a cup of tea. It was the watchman with three of his friends, including me, and all had bloody faces.